सुखी हो तो दामपुत्री सं दामपुत्रास एंड डियर फ्रेंड्स आई सी सम बिवेलेड फेसेस यू आर नॉट यूज्ड टू दिस काइंड ऑफ ग्रीटिंग नॉर्मली एंड इन फैक्ट टुडे इट्सर वी विटनेस बीइंग ग्रीटेड गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड लेटर ऑन मे बी गुड नाइट व्हाट इज सो गुड अबाउट द मॉर्निंग आई आस्क यू यू ग्रीट ईच अदर गुड मॉर्निंग and you keep on doing it without understanding realizing the fact that there's nothing good about the morning and when you greet somebody in the morning you meet the same person in the afternoon you say good afternoon and in the night you tell good night to the person so are you greeting him you are greeting the time of the day in actual fact suki hotu is a greeting that the buddha used it is so rich in meaning it is born of out of uh, kalyana mitra as well as brahma vihara it means may you be happy and well always not just the morning noon and night but always it is a universal greeting you can use anywhere in the world and it is acceptable now i have deliberately brought this greeting out to state a modality of how i propose to address the subject of uh, mindful uh, nurse communication a mindful communication sustainable development and deep ecology the reason is i want you to now accept the fact that we have been using this greeting good morning because that's how we have been a uh, culturalized in order to face or to resolve or remedy this we need to deculturalize because of our acculturization we tend to look at problems as in a physical form all our aspects of understanding of the problem is seen in a physical form because that is how we have been taught that is how our whole education system is and because we see it in a physical form we are not able to see the root of the problem we only see manifestations of the problem and when we see manifestations of the problem we tend to only address the manifestations we don't address the root of the problem in the buddha's approach diagnostical approach he always goes to the root of the problem the fundamental problem if you don't address the root of the problem the problem will still continue so that is one of the points that i need to draw out so that in our collective approach in addressing this this issues let us try and see beyond the physical let us go beyond the manifestations of the problem to the root of the problem second we tend to look at problems issues challenges as though it is very distant from us far away somewhere else whereas the buddha says look within yourself first within yourself is an approach to look at problems from within so that you would have a better understanding of what the problem is all about uh, we need to recognize one fundamental fact which has not been emphasized and that is we tend to think that this problem of sustainable development and deep ecology is something that is happening today whereas the buddha had already recognized long before this that the root of the problem the 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 the, the manifestation of this or the consequences or the phenomenon had happened when society transformed from a gathering society to a settled society where the individual then became more important than the clan where property was individualized not clan ownership that is the beginning of the problem so all of us tend to because the the way we look at things we think that this is something which is a modern phenomena whereas it is actually an anthropological evolutionary problem which has taken larger dimensions as a result of industrial revolution early on and today of course the modern technological globalization etc etc but if we fail to understand this then we will be failing a fundamental requirement in terms of addressing this issue that these problems that we are talking about is created by human beings that is very fundamental understanding we have been talking and talking and talking without 
emphasizing or stressing or, 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 or you know taking the bull by the horn and saying look here this is created by human beings if it is created by human beings the solution must be found in human beings it's not an external uh, agency or some god and in fact some other uh, religionists and some other advocates say that this is a rock of some you know uh, god or some demon or whatever else so we need to disabuse those quarters who believe that this is a rock of god and you know act of god and things like that. but more important it is a human creation now we talk about mindfulness we talk about mindful uh, communication but the paradox is we need to talk about the mind the mind is the most important element of all of this whole discussion and yet paradoxically we have left it out it is imperative that we understand what the mind is the mind is a, such a complex thing we are talking about human beings we have not looked at the mind because the mind is so fundamental so central in all of this but more important for us to understand there is a logical mind and there is a logical rational mind and there is an emotional mind once we understand that there is a logical mind and an emotional mind then we know that these are some of the aspects that we need to uh, address in terms of development of mind we need to recognize that our mind is a super duper computer what the mind is stored with in terms of whatever experiences whatever knowledge whatever values that we have is going to dictate all our thinking process our speech process and action process as the buddha says the mind is the forerunner of all of our thoughts all of our speech and all of our actions now in the ter in terms of the challenges we have three segments i identify three segments uh, first is you know we we find that the issue is because there is sens sensationalization by the media and all those people who are having a stake in it policy makers governments uh, and, and stakeholders and the the media practitioners themselves the second segment is that uh, we have what you call it the uh, products and services that are being promoted which is geared towards um, promoting your sensual desires so that the products are sold all these are orientated towards uh, massaging and uh, you know uh, what you call it uh, flavoring and uh, enhancing your sensual pleasures and, and joys and etc the third aspect is the consumers there are people out there who are responding negatively and positively there are more people responding negatively because of the power of the media our task is to try and reduce a positive response from society so these are the three target groups that we need to address when when we talking about remedial measures now the fundamental thing about all these three people